as you can see my screen okay. this is a classic view So yeah, <clears throat> so continuing to the last class, so where we were is, yeah, we were able to produce the case management. So we know what is case and um, how to write an email to case, web to case, how to manage case and queues. Manage case and since you just went on to the assignment rules and then you have routed the particular case to a certain queue when the case is creating created onto the subject, let's say with the delivery or courier. So we have to pick them and then put in the right queue. From a queue, we can accept it. <clears throat> so this is one thing we have to see. And um, Salesforce knowledge management is articles we have produced. And on the right side, we have thrown the articles. Any case articles you wanted to attach, let's say something related issues related to the day. No, how to see. Um, someone is posted for a delivery or um, courier. Some issues they have posted. <clears throat> to the right to the right articles it will be appearing on the right side of your window wherever the knowledge widget is present so it will you can attach the articles to the respective cases so that we've seen so this management is absolute um, customizing the console <clears throat> so console if you required what to do and show this Let me get into a service console first. Service console is an application is where you can see it is quite different from the normal application. What you can see how many number of tabs you open here. Let's say I wanted to open something related to case owner. Look at this has become a primary tab and this to become a sub tabs. But unless another you know, <clears throat> other applications what happen this it just opens next to next. But again you can come back to the cases. You can try opening some of the different ticket. Look at this. 1028 and 1029. So the moment I click on 1028, so I have the sub the, the details and the, someone has clicked on the user. And again, you are trying to click on some other stuff. So it's a mail which which fires. Mm, so what else I can open instantly? Go to contacts. So look at this, whatever I do, so my previous case is also here and the contact is also getting open here. And if I open here, I have a sub tabs also associated to this something. If I open, I have a sub tabs also. So currently for this case, I don't have much related records. Look at this. One, two, three. So far the same for the same ticket I can have uh, or case I can have multiple tabs open because all these are the childs of them currently these are associated to this case email is associated to this case and the case is associated to this case all these informations are getting opened in a one go they become a primary and all this becomes sub tabs you know? so this is what service consult helps and it helps actually to you know for the agents to whenever the quick you know text up something about the case which comes in so they will try to open instantly for all and then they try to answer over the call so that's the reason we ask for agents call center agents or any service agents when you call for them so they have so many information in handy um, to increase the the performance of their service so they did this sales has come up with an idea with this open one tab and then associate all you can have in a primary and sub tab concepts so this is increasing the throughput of their uh, service basically 
Exiting. Okay, then again, what you do is if you go and edit this page, so that's where you're trying to um, customizing the console pages. So this is also uh, this we actually call as Lightning App Builder page, where with the component appears to you guys and uh, look at this. This is a case international product because I I were into case I think sorry uh, this task I think I need to jump on to this. I was into the image so my, if I edit the page it will directly sense to this page only I need to get into a case page where I have three layouts now I have to give an edit because I am editing the console of the keys so which tab you are into and in the moment you click on edit the page it will be showing for the right page so this is a case page so now you can decide what you want here is it content details are required? Should I have this firstly? Case details. Anyway, the moment you open, you will have a case details here. There's a fee here. So, fee is they given the first. Should I interchange this? So, that also you can do. Look at this. Details have thrown first, and then I've put the feeds next. So, I'm, I can rearrange them. And then look at here knowledge and then related. So related I don't want there. If you want to get them and related into this list, I can get it here. How do I do? Add a tab. No, not there. Add a tab. Call them as you can have your own custom also. So you can write a custom and then you can write some new. Some XYZ name what you can do. So where I found something related here is in the original tab table. So I'm just putting in them here. But ideally inside there will be nothing you have to add the components. So if you want to have XYZ, add a tab with custom name like this. Add a custom, you can have XYZ. So this is a our name I'm just giving it up. So custom tab. No problem. But to this related, what I have to do is I have to drag and drop my little kit list. So the left side you have a components called with the related records, the single record or a related list, complete related list. You can throw them here. So look at this. So these are the related list we have, a big one, and uh, so look at this related. Again, the same thing is being available there, attachments, and then I don't want the related records should be so small here. I would take off that, which is not required, and I purely want knowledge management there. That's it. And after this doing, I would try to save it. We need to activate this. So what is this asking is, uh, do you want it to the same load for desktop, phone, everywhere? Yeah, I want something like this, yes. Okay, so now the activation is also done. So let me come back. Oh, sorry, sorry, I'm missing that. Yeah. I think it is not getting refreshed, uh, so I have to refresh and check whether it is a cache issue.
though I've activated the page um, oh, I didn't check that um, come on let me check on and then revert back to this Related to, to this related, I'm trying to add the components. So let me do that first. So it's in case page layout, okay, fine. And then related, I don't want related here. So this is one added. Additionally, what I have is XYZ as a custom tab. So I didn't do anything there, but it's still fine. We can't display this information because the record has no parent. We don't have access. We don't have a top. Sadly, this I want. All I want is um, detail to be the first, edit to be second, and feeds at the last. Okay. This is what I want to restructure the page layout. First thing, activate. SN is our default. So next, so I need to put an app default as well. Mm, service console to this service console app, I need to mark it. Yeah. I expect now to be present. Let's see. Yeah. Since I was not assigned to any app, so that's what it was not showing for the service console. Now look at this. I have detail section here. And the feed related section here. All the case related related as you can see. And the feeds at the last you can see. Anything we have feeds for it. And the knowledge we have at the last. So this is how you customize the console the pages. It's not only about the console, it is also about the customizing the lightning pages. When we know about how to customize the pages, of course it isn't that really customizing the console actually. Because we are already we are dealing with the console. Any questions here? Okay, fine. So, auto response rule, let me focus. Um, and then some escalation rules will try to fire it out. So, then this chapter will be completed. Along with that, we also dealt with record types and create record types, managing record types, which I've done. So, then we purely will jump into chapter 11 12 and dealing with how it happens. So let me get it to a setup. You could see um, for a case you will have auto response rule, for a lead you have a auto response rule to buy uh, because. So both are the you know type of uh, which which flows inside. The leads may be interested, they will flow inside. A case may be flowing inside because based on the the tickets are uh, basically we're giving service. So this is something uh, sales related service, and this is something the product which are the you know the the company that owns for that product they are giving service. Case or response rules. So, this even 
cases are response rules or um, case assignment rules all this can be only one active at the same time even the lead assignment rule any assignment rules can be active only one at a time for the entire hour uh, we if you have five six assignment rules also present but only one can be active at the same time custom case order response rule So now we have to make an entry, same like how we did for assignment rules, same way we have to do it. Sorting out as one. And we say in what time I would do an auto responsible and fire to this case. Um, when people are communicating via through mail, I think so. Okay, let's say case by mail name. In the case origin, let's put it as an UN. Equals to an email. At that time, we will fire this auto response. Because if you're sending from an email, I would send back to your response saying that thanks for um, sending out an, a case email. So these sections we need to prepare specify the name and address to include the auto response rule from from line. So here I specifically mention um, international um, I email I've got from the a title is this. International Trade Bank Service. So now these address you have to verify in the awkward default settings whether we have the right emails or not. Allow all profiles. So I will just give. So what email address will give? So who's I didn't use that so far? Um, so Naresh, I'll try to use your email ID. So verification as the request I sent to you, Naresh. Could you please you know, verify it? To your email ID, please go and um, verify it. Yeah. Let me see if this is the correct email, right? Naresh nine one nine Kotak G eight. Correct. Uh, got to. Okay. Let me undo that. See. And how do you join? I. Send it to me. You got it? Okay. Let 
Let me refresh this. It says verified. Yes, you are verified for all the profiles. So now what I have is you can have a conversation here. In the Agua default setting, just we put international private bank as a name and specify the name and address to include the order responsible from the messages. Yes, only for the verified or if sorry, what is it? Org wide verified settings for the email address only we can give it here for the settings connections here. Is getting so this address, whatever I specify here, the sender email must either be one of your verified or the email address in your org user profile, it must also different from your email, email to case routing addresses, of course. For email to case which I had used is even Raj and um, um, Kumars I used finally I used for Kumars some I have Raj also there so that's the reason I've used here and email template that is what we want to use so we have already not a responsible email template who will use it out of the box mm. let me check with auto So no problem. So let me quickly even create the templates. I can clone from something and even make it as an auto responsible. So let me clone this and make it as an auto-response run. So I should give unique name since I'm cloning already. So so dear okay, your response to Jen Mart case is a month currently. Auto response internationally private bank auto response. So all these other things are fine. So I have created a KNO template called as auto response. So let me search that here. Look at this case auto response which I use now. And send response to all the recipients. So all the recipients. Mm, to the case yes so you want the survey to be included here you can include survey here before that send the service to the case content auto response rules RMI you must have surveys enabled if you want service to be enabled you can service to be enabled you can do that also We don't have any community here, so we can't be enabled here. Oops. 
So one, one second, please. Yeah, so sorry for the disturbance, guys. Service owners can manage responses. So no problem, we have enabled this service here. And quickly, let's come here. So we will save this first and then we'll if see any service, service enabled here. Yeah. So service enabled so that we can see here customer satisfaction survey just I'm adding it here as this a normal one and I'm saying this is an optional one which is not required though but like any other support tickets are like the moment you try to you know um, send the response and then you ask for a seek for response only when um, the auto response has been fired and saying that thanks for connecting with us so let's see this has been fired to us So what rule we have when a case origin is equals to email and then international private bank from them you have to receive an email this this particular template of receive an email so likewise yesterday we were trying to send an email let me check over here that i already opened let me compose an email to yeah, check for <clears throat> not a response I'm just sending randomly to this so rejoin after the five minutes guys because this may end up the meeting um, so I have to come to case sections Check for auto response is the one which I fired, and uh, here is the ticket we got it. So, in the details sections, if I see, yeah, the case origin is email, and the related records, if I see, IBB auto response. Oh, there's an email is also fired. Um, So this is email which is fine look at from international private bank service to contract and this is dear this is the comments that we have got fired from let me check my email do you see this a, a no mail uh, from the international private bank and from Naresh that way I got it this idea would be easy no reply at salesforce.com or no reply at ipp.com something would be and to the recipients why we got it to Kumar also if you see to whom or why are this some service they said it no problem since if it's a production system so that we will not find so international private bank service and their email id whichever they have so this is a display name which you used this is the in the case auto response rule what name we have given that is what it is replied there we are given an org by default email address 
we are given nourish and now about that we have just given only the international private bank it is not displaying that it is displaying in case of an auto responsible what name you are giving that is what is being displayed here is getting and we got the auto response also any questions Yeah. Yeah, that is a display that that's a service name. Sorry, that's a display name which you're given here in the auto response case rules. While configuring you given the, the name and then in the downside just you're given your name. Sorry, email email ID. And basically this email should be verified in org wide email address. The URC is a from email ID. Two is the one who for the guys who created the case for I sent from my email right so I have sent an email I become the sender check for auto response rule check for auto response some something I typed and I send it out I am become the sender and you, you know, sales was worth the receiver at that time so now the moment you created a case and you are sending the auto response rule back to me saying that hey thanks for this this is a case number and some excellent yes yes yeah yeah because the center is like you will have a proper name right you are replying from the bank only yeah i think so yeah. yeah See, it can be for lead support anyone could be but as being an admin we're going to configure them so if someone asks a requirement saying that hey i want to send an email whenever the case is being created or whenever the lead is getting created i want to send the auto response rule go to auto response rule and then configure the stuff so whatever our template email required you have to capture from them and then so you have to be ready with your email templates Mm, yeah, of course. Those are doing the actual work, case generating, auto ID is all. They are doing it at an automatic pace. But to reply back to a customer who sent it, so for that we require auto response. No, no, no. For that separate logic like workflow, you have to do it. Where on update of a certain case, you will fire an email. Saying that this is the updated content that you have. So this is another day. <laughs> what if this class is getting over? Hey Kumar and Raj, do you have any questions? Video video will be the same. It is all keeping continuous recording. <laughs> so no problem with the videos. Only our uh, because the recording is running at the different time. Uh, I'm doing a screen recording. So you should not face any problem there. Yeah, so, I, so that's the reason I will just keep repeating whatever the questions you ask and then answer for the same.
Yeah. So what I'll do is, um, so Naresh, uh, you have asked these questions, then I'll repeat the question and then I'll answer it. So that's how you have to remember that. Okay, this question is asked by me. Because maybe I'm using headset because that's the reason I think. Oh, is it? Let me try now. I don't know the voice clarity will be that good. <laughs> A lot of disturbance if you have, then we have to see through. <clears throat> so let let me try that today. <clears throat>